Hello everyone, it's the Farmsome Guy here. I hope you're all doing well. I am absolutely delighted to be able to bring you an early preview of pumps and hoses. It is here in just a few more days, Tuesday next week. If you haven't picked it up yet, you can still and use my uh, creator code, which is down there, Farm Sim Guy. If you're picking this up, it all goes towards supporting the channel. Um, but we're here today. We're going to have a quick run through all of this equipment and have a look through the uh, modular BGA system, all of the storage tanks that you get with it, and maybe ask a couple of initial queries or questions. Hopefully we can close those off as well. But this, I have used this area on Attingham Park here, and I have downloaded and added every single piece to the map so we can have a look at them all um there's obviously all the shouting equipment or shouting equipment um as you can see here and we'll go through these one by one uh, but the modular bga stuff is interesting very interesting that is on top of that there is a myriad of stall camp tanks to store your slurry and your digestate in as well. We do use some base game mods as well. So the Garant tanker here is going to come in handy and we'll show you uh, how we can use that in a little while as well. Uh, we've also got a front loader there to load up some uh, things into the BG-8 to show you how that works. But first and foremost, I think what we'll do, we'll jump in and we'll have a look at all of the tank options. Like I said, I've got them here and I've filled one of them up. Uh, but rather than looking at them here, We'll, uh, we'll jump into the shop and we'll have a quick look at them. So as you can see, we've got a few of them down on the ground, but if we go to the silo section, and we'll go back a little bit, um, they start here, and a various amount of sizes. So we'll start with this one here, um, a liquid manure tank, uh, just over 600,000 litres in that one, and then 1.6, nearly 1.7 thousand litres, and then 3.6. Those are these three at the, at the back here. And then we go into these uh, open-ended ones. So you can see these three here. You can see the one we've got some stuff in, some interesting lines there, which I'll talk about in a little while. But again, 600,000 uh, litres, 1.6, nearly 1.7, and 3.6 as well. And then we go into these uh, ones at the front here. Uh, 952,000, 2.1 million, and 3.5, nearly 3.6 million. And then same here, 952, 2.1, and 3.6 million there. So a myriad of different choices for you, which is nice to see. And then if we go into productions, this is where your modular BGA comes in, but also with it, a lot of other things. So straight away here, we've got our separators, which means you can take liquid manure and convert it take the dry part of that and separate the two out which is good there's three different options for that there's a small one at 40,000 that holds 20,000 litres um, a slightly bigger one that holds 35,000 litres and then the biggest that holds 45,000 litres and priced accordingly as well there uh, then you'll go into your modular BGA so first and foremost you've got your fermenter and you've got those in three different sizes your inputs for those will be chopped sugar beet, uh, slurry, manure, and silage. Uh, three different sizes as well there to do different things with. Um, and your output from those will be digestate and methane, which leads us nicely onto our next thing, which is our cogeneration plant. So we've got three of these as well, and they basically take the methane that comes from the fermenter and they convert it into electricity, which can be sold. Um, so there you go, you've got three different sizes of those as well that will produce various amounts of electricity. On top of that, you have got your bins for dropping your solids in as well. So your silage can go in here, your manure can go in here, and your chopped sugar beet can go in here as well. And again, different sizes there, 30,000, 60,000. A combi one, which we will look at because it's quite a nice uh, alternative to one we've seen before. Uh, a biogas combi as well. And this DOB115, which has got an opening ramp, which you reverse into, which we'll have a look at as well. And then we've got a gas torch at the end here. So this gas torch burns excess methane, which is produced by the fermenter. So nice little touch there. So that is all of the building elements that you have available to you. Let's go and look at the machinery. Now, 
the machinery is dotted over various different categories within the shop. So what I'm probably going to do just for now, for ease, is I'm going to jump into pumps and hoses, mods and DLC, so we can look at these in detail. Now we start here at the beginning with the AC115, which is a compressor, um, which fits onto your tractor. It's got a PTO on there. And you can use that for cleaning out your pipes when you are finished. Uh, then we've got some pipe reels. We've got three pipe reels here. We've got the basic one here, um, the H240. This will carry pipes from wherever you want to wherever you want. You can have them on the front or the rear. You can change the lights depending on where you're towing it. If you want to put it on the back of a tractor or the front of a tractor. Um, then the next one. DH240 has two reels on it, so you can carry additional pipage with that. And then the final one here has actually got a small tank on it as well, which will then control the amount of slurry or digestate that you're putting on the field. It will, it will keep that at a balanced rate as it passes it down the pipe. Then you've got a couple of pumps. Obviously, you need to be able to pump from whatever receptacle you're holding your slurry in into the pipe system and into the applicator in the field. So there is one, the PU100, which looks to the back of the tractor, and then this slightly bigger one, which has got a reservoir in it as well. So that will pump and also regulate the amount that's coming through the pipes as well. Slightly bigger and, of course, more expensive. And then we have these. These will hold a rather large amounts here. So the JC450 will hold 49,000 litres in it. So you can fill that right up. So you have a reservoir, you have a pool sitting at the edge of the field. You can run this to the edge of the field. Uh, and then it will continue to feed the applicator in the field for as long as possible. So um, we'll go and have a look at that in a little while. And again, a slightly smaller one, just 12 and 1,200 litres held in this one, but it has got some nice um, pipes on the back, so you can add some reels and a compressor. So you can have an all-in-one system here. You can carry some extra slurry or digestate. You can have your compressor to clean the pipes out when you're done, which basically blows air down the pipes so you don't leave stuff in the pipes. And you've got a big roll on the back there to hold your additional pipes or your pipes for the field as well. And then we move on to the applicators. There are a few different versions of this. So let's open this one up. This has the applicator, uh, but also has the connecting pipe to connect to the hoses as well. So this is an all-in-one system. It's eight meters wide um, and requires just a nominal 70 horsepower to run, which is, which is all good. And I would say a lot of this equipment is, is low horsepower requirements. You don't need massive tractors to do this. I mean, let's be honest, we're all going to hook up the biggest tractor we can find, but that, that's par for the course, right? Uh, now, this is an applicator um, tool, but it's the attacher to the hose. So as you can see here, you can then choose which applicator you want to put on in addition to this. So you would need to hook this up first and then reverse up to an applicator. And here are some of the options you've got. You've got the SPC 1230 which is 12 meters wide, slightly bigger one, uh, still only requires 70 horsepower to run and will run at 10 miles an hour. And then the next one along is the 12 to 60, again, 12 meters wide. But as you can see there, slightly different way of applying it, lots more pipage and uh, looks like there's some sort of cultivating wheels on that as well, possibly. We'll, we'll give all of these a test over the weekend and the coming days so you know what to expect. But this, uh, this video is really a, just a little, uh, very quick overview. Like I said, the embargo was just lifted, so I wanted you to see this as soon as um, I was allowed to show it to you. Um, and then the BS900 here, which is slightly smaller, 9 metre width on this one, uh, but does take 100 uh, horsepower to run this one. So again, discs on there as well, so slightly different applicator style in there as well. So... Nice to see that, and like I said, we will test all these. Now, you have here as well a water pump. A water pump can be used. This can help, I think, don't quote me on this yet, and I will do some tests over the weekend. You can, you can uh, add water to your slurry as well to help, uh, help it go further, uh, which is good. Uh, and this one is a separator that uh, 
can be sat separately. So um, we talked about the other separators that are um, placeables in the building section. We've also got this, which is um, a slightly smaller mobile one. So that will separate uh, your solids from your liquid manure. And then we have umbilical hoses. These come in different sizes, starting at 100 meters, 200, 300, 400, 500. Now you can join these together as well, so you can hitch up different lengths of umbilical hose. And you've also got a nice range of colors, orange, yellow, red, blue, green, brown, and I guess that's silver or gray. Very nice though. And lastly, you have got your wrench. Now this is, uh, this works in exactly the same way as a chainsaw does. It's a hand tool, uh, but what it does, if you've got two lengths of pipe in a field, you need the wrench to be able to join them together. It's, it's quite nicely done actually, and we'll demonstrate that. Right, back out of here, because before we head over to the equipment over there, because I know you all just want to see a machine running in a field, so do I, so, uh, I will quickly demo just some of the other stuff so you can see it working. Like I said, this is the Garant uh, trailer that has been in base game for a while. We will fill this up with um, slurry, I think. So we can uh, do a little bit of a demo of one of the separators. There are three here. Right, now we'll roll over here quickly. I've moved the uh, manure spreader out of the way because, in fact, the manure spreader doesn't... Uh, collect it so that's something to check out a little bit more I don't know what we can move this about and what the benefit of this is I thought you could use it as a manure and spread it on your fields but that Roland spreader didn't seem to want to pick it up so for now we'll just hit the R button so you just need to pull your tank right up close and it starts to spit out your solid separated manure which is good um the next one along here, you just need to reverse it into the bay, as we've done here, as you can see, and then wander around to the side again, and hit the R button. Now it's on and running. I don't know where the... Uh, the product is going. Oh, there it is actually filling up in there as well so maybe I don't need to reverse all the way in and again you've got your largest one here with more storage space now we've got our uh, solid load points as well up high there now you could obviously if you wanted to build up uh, the concrete ramps to these if you want to reverse trailers up to these for the sake of what we've got to do here just to show you we just thought we'd dump a bucket load of sugar beet cuts in there just so we could see that we triggered things hopefully enough to uh, turn on the uh, if nothing else I want to see the uh, excess methane being poured off but there we go that's going in there now if I wander round to the fermenter here check on it we should see our sugar beet cuts 18 litres in there ticking up slowly as it goes through the process uh, and that will turn into methane which will then pass it on to the power plants here the congeneration plants who are, which are next door and um, produce our electricity it was, it's, it's very cleverly done actually now you obviously wouldn't put all three of these together and that's what's nice about the modular bga again let me just jump into this so look at this when you place this down um some some quite nice stuff happens things have to be within uh, a close enough distance to work but if they are and see they all connect themselves up which is very clever the other thing uh, as well is in the productions here if we grab one of these solid machines again, you can see if it's close enough, you see the pipe connects straight to the fermenter, which is very clever. So you can position them wherever you like. 
Uh, you can rotate them as well. So uh, that's a nice touch. But it's nice to be able to see when you've uh, connected everything up that it uh, is within range of, I suppose, the other elements. So you know that it'll work. Now, the other one I wanted to show you very quickly is this one, the DOB here. So it's got a closed door there. You just go up to the buttons here. Do that. And we will nip round here. And we will grab this truckload of manure. Like I said, I'm not set this up brilliantly because uh, it's just a bit of a demo, but um, we'll run this truck of manure down here. I think I would spend a lot more time padding this out properly. I was setting up a game, which we will absolutely do over the weekend and probably run a live stream at some point. But we can reverse into here. I don't know how far you need to go in. It's already got the trigger, so let's just leave it there, shall we? But again, you can unload the manure into there. You can see it moving. And it should drag that over time into the uh, into the BGA, into the fermenter there. Not sure if you need to close the ramp either, but we will close the ramp. But I assume that's just going to do its thing now and run in there. Again, if we run out to the front of the fermenter, we will be able to see, as you can see there, the manure is ticking up relatively slowly, but it's ticking up. Great job. Okay, so there you go. There's all your storage tanks, the modular BGA system, which is very nice. And uh, that is all I'm going to show you just now. What we'll do now is get on to the good stuff. <laughs> Let's get on to the good stuff. I know people are itching to know, one, how this works, and um, two, what I think of it. So what we'll do... We will... First things first, we've got some some of the new nice vouchers over here. Let's get ourselves organised. What we need is... We'll get a reel on the front of this. So we'll set ourselves up with a nice... load of uh, pipe so we can do lots of fun stuff. So I'm going to grab, probably... Let's go for the simple one for now. We'll not demo all of the equipment today because um, again there's a lot of stuff that does the same thing but in slightly different sizes and things like that and it would also make the video incredibly long but we will we'll continue to play around with it as the uh, as the weekend goes on but let's just load up this so you roll up to one of your cords so we'll take we'll take the two short ones because I want to want to demo at connecting these up because now I've put two on there, it will recognise those as two separate rolls. There hasn't just become one, uh, one roll of stuff. Um, in fact, let's see if can if we can take three. We can because I'm going to show you something else. I've got a uh, another tractor here. Um, yes, we will take this one. I'm going to grab this one because what we'll do, just so you can see it, we'll grab another one of the rolls because it's quite clever the way it does this quite like this so let's pick this one up if I manage to not tip it over there we go so I'm just going to leave this here actually I'm going to go and get him from over here so let's roll this over here you can unload this again and you can unload it as a pallet so I could just do an L now and it would drop my pallets there and R again to load them back up but if you're in front of another tractor this is when it gets quite clever I have to say the animation on the on the rollers is so clever so look at this start hose transfer so if I press R hang on a second that's the wrong way I think I need to be in this guy here yes if I press R here look at that it swaps between the two of them and depending on the length of it it will uh, fill it up or not and you can see it ticking up there I think that's uh, each meter so I'm guessing this is I probably put the 300 meter one on this roll 
So it's going to take a little time to roll up, but that not that clever? And there you go. 200 metres transferred between the two pipes. Very clever. Uh, right, I am actually going to reverse this up and drop this off. Because I don't need that just now. What we're going to do here is we are going to take this... Uh, this tanker here, the big one, and we're going to fill it up with some manure over at the biogas clamp. Actually, I need to raise it up. Here we go, lift container. You can't pull it very far if it's got a lot of um, stuff in it, if it's lowered down. So there was hydraulic wheels become very handy for that. Now, there we go. So let's just load up here, shall we? Let's take let's take digestate for the field because we're out of slurry. Look at it filling up the actual uh, the visual of the uh, liquid in there is quite nice, isn't it? But there we go. Twenty thousand liters in there already. It's a big, big tank of this, which is good. Let's roll this over. Like I said, you can add water to this and. and uh, make your slurry go a lot further if you want but we won't do that just now because what we'll do is we'll quickly demo we are you on here? I'm struggling to break there, it's uh, so heavy but let's roll this just to the edge of the field here shall we? like so, look at the reflection on that, it's nice isn't it? Uh, we will lower the wheels down like so, we're going to leave that tractor there because you do need to have that attached for the pump to run now, let's go and get an applicator hooked onto the back of the other tractor with the pipes on it, and uh, we'll head back to the field. So, let's, rather than just take the one that already has the uh, the pipe attached already, let's grab this one. And I'll try and demonstrate. I think this is how you hook them up. Again, somebody will tell me different. If not, so I think you have to, if I reverse up to that, see it bangs it out of the way. So what you need to do need to press X, which unfolds it and puts it, basically puts it onto the floor, like that. And you've got to then, in essence, kind of thread the needle through that hole in the middle there. There you go. And when you get close, it connects up. Now, as you can see as well, we've got precision farming installed, so everything works with that. Now I've just got to pan back to the right bit to Hold it up, and there we go. Done. Hold it in. And then the applicator drops down. So we now will roll to the field. We're going to take this big field here. Now, I probably haven't got enough pipe on to do the whole field, but again, we're just really demonstrating how, how this works. So what I'll do now, I need to start unrolling this pipe here. Because we would like to start running our pipe. Now you've got to start thinking now a little bit differently in terms of where you want your stuff to go. Uh, now, a couple of things to point out here. You can't grab your pipe here and connect it. It doesn't work. There's nothing there that allows you to do that. So you've got to start unrolling this pipe. What you need to do here is press the Y button. And that drops it onto the floor, and then it says, please move for unwinding. And what you need to do is just reverse backwards then. You can see that lovely animation as the pipe unwinds as you go down here. Now, you've, this is like I said, you've got to kind of do a little bit of a calculation here. If you want to go from one end of the field to the other, um, you need to work out how much pipe you need. So, there you go, there's our short pipe. So we now need to go to here again. We need to press Y again. There you go. Please move from winding, and we will go further backwards again. What I might do, just so I know I've got enough, to roll into this next field and then roll back so what you don't want to do is get 
halfway down the field and run out of pipe. There we go, we've got 130 left, so we've got quite a bit left still. Better to have too much than not enough, I guess. And then we'll do a turn here. Should work perfectly, actually. Down to 30 metres. And there we go, we are done. So what we'll do now... We need to hook up these pipes, is what we need to do. We'll unfold our applicator at the back here. And when it's down, you press left shift and Q. And you watch there as our pipe attaches. So we've got a hose attached at the back there, so I can move along here now. See the hose dragging behind us. But nothing's going to happen yet because, if you remember, we had two lengths of pipe down here. Um, and they're quite far apart, actually. Probably pull this one back. So well, this is where you need your hand tool. So if you purchase the, uh, the spanner from the shop, there we go, the umbilical hose, you can click and attach and you can drag it until you get close to each other. Now, I did find this slightly challenging before, a while to get the pipes lined up. You can pick either one of them. There you go, that worked quite nicely there. So that is hooked up. Now, if we head back to the tractor here, because we still haven't hooked it up here either, but here it is, and as you can see, not showing us anything there, so we need to quickly grab this pipe to move it closer to the pump. There we go. And yes, there we go, we've got our trigger now, so left shift and Q. We're all hooked up and ready to go there. Now we can power this up. You can hear the pump running, you can see it's gone blue in the corner there. Now, to all intents and purposes, we are done here. We just need to scoot back to the tractor. So in a, in a more common sense way, you would lay all your pipe out and park your tractors next to each other to get started. Now as far as I believe, um, I need to... I was on the wrong implement there. Unfold this. Like so. Get myself into position. Spin it up by hitting the B button. I believe. Or we just lower ourselves down. Something strange going on here. I've not done this quite right, have I? But as you saw, there's something not quite right there. I don't know what it was that was not working there. We're going to grab the all-in-one unit here just for this demo so you can see things working and we'll we'll come back to that again um but it wasn't dropping the middle of the applicator down onto the field if you saw that so um again just for the purposes of a little bit of a walk through through this let's try and get some uh, slurry in the field shall we i have to say though um all of this is great fun I'm loving this. It's a completely different way of doing this that we've never done before. We've never had this in Farm Sim. Um, it's it's clever. The guys at Creative Mesh have done a fantastic job of making this uh, tool. I mean, the, the the quality of the mods and, and just the, the gameplay element of it is fantastic. So let's left shift this. This looks a little bit more promising. Obviously, you don't want to apply over your pipe so let's get out of the way there but now we should be able to spin this up lower it down and the jc420 isn't running i wonder if when we disconnected it it um, switches this off so we need to fire this back up yes there you go it has stopped running so we've spooled that back up now it's because we undid the pipe switched itself off so now, it looks like it's already running here. We roll forward. So there we go. As you can now see, precision farming running, and we are adding to the field. 
it's not perfect actually depending on the soil yield but what we'll do I think you can double dose this as well let me just have a look see we're on automatic application right there so we could turn that off so let's boost it right up shall we let's get it up right up to the green flag there so there we go we are applying massive amounts more and over there that's the perfect amount for this field obviously doing it manually isn't ideal it should do it better on the automatic application right but there we go we've got a lot of pipe the pipe is still dragging behind us we may need more as we get towards it's a big field this we probably need to add more at some point as well but that's very easy to do you just decouple from the back of your applicator here now one of the reasons that we do this rather than dragging a very heavy slurry tanker on is exactly for that reason is can you imagine the weight in the field of a huge slurry tanker full of slurry plus the weight of the tractor this way you're keeping that heavy weight off the field much better for the soil so there you go pipes and hoses for fs22 this is a really nice dlc and i am thoroughly impressed with how it works look at the movement of that pipe in the field there as we uh, as we head down here just such a clever clever thing um this is running super well super smooth as well um is it is it cumbersome i don't think so it is quite involved it's not going to be everybody's taste but for me i like this kind of thing i like the fact that we're seeing something different i like the fact that uh, there's so many bits of kit to choose from the whole bga system could be a whole heap of fun getting used to as well um and i'm looking forward to diving into all of these bits of kit in a lot more detail over the next few days but uh I am I am really enjoying it I think it's great I think it's just again opening up the options to people giving people choice is what's great about the way that FS is at the moment there's so many different ways you can attack things and approach things and it's really clever and just genuinely this is I talk about mods that kind of change the game and the way we do stuff this is one of those mods just doing a really good job of doing something and pushing the pushing the you know the boundaries of the game those pipes are phenomenal i know wopster is part of the creative mesh crew and we all know his uh manure system mod from 19 um so you can see the development of that through this but those pipes are so super smooth as they adjust through the field i do not have enough to even get close to finishing this field but as you can see it looks really really good in the field there so there you go I've just had an idea. You could colour code your pipes depending on the length of them so you'd know which ones were which. It's not a bad idea, is it? But for now, for me, the farm sim guy, that was a very quick whistle-stop tour of pumps and hoses and a little bit of an insight as to how you can get things set up and running without scratching your head too much when you download it in a few days' time. Remember, if you haven't picked it up yet but you like the look of this, um, you can use my partner code, farm sim guy when you order it or you can click on the links that are in the description and i'll put one in the top corner here as well now so there you go everyone a really nice dlc congratulations to the creative mesh guys i think they've done a wonderful job um if you like it go get it and uh have fun in the game with it